Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another Keller Williams Realty Technologies presentation. Today, we are covering our Internet Lead Generation Series. And along with that, we're going to be showing you how to add testimonials to your KW websites. So what is Internet Lead Generation? Internet Lead Generation is a purposeful strategy. It helps promote your brand. It helps drive consumers to you online. And then, of course, we want to get the lead once we drive that consumers to us. And so we, in order to do that, we need to start at the beginning. And the beginning is through generating the leads. Technology, as we know, is changing at an increasingly rapid pace. We can no longer ca categorize our buyers and sellers um, whether or not they're going to use the Internet because the fact of the matter is everyone uses the Internet. So Internet lead generation is a combination of strategy and your brand. That's what uh, brings internet lead generation, the combination of your strategy and your brand. So let's look at today's uh, objectives and how we can help promote our brand um, and uh, help, help promote ourselves um, through testimonials. So the first thing we're going to ask is why do we want to use testimonials? We definitely need to uh, answer that question. Um, second thing is how do we create a testimonials page on our KW websites? We're going to walk you through that process. Um, and then the actual process of adding the testimonials page, one, uh, adding testimonials to the page once you create it, because you first have to create the page, then you can start to add your testimonials. All right, so let's start with the first question, why use testimonials? Well, before the internet, it was difficult for your current and past clients to communicate the value of your service, and that's communicating it to others inside and outside of your sphere. Testimonials will persuade consumer um, decisions. It's going to help strengthen your online presence. It's going to give you credit. Um, it's going to also support the inbound marketing strategies that you already have in place. These are strategies that you've been working towards. In other words, um, if you've been bringing people into your website, into your um, digital ecosphere, if you will, then um, hopefully you are taking them to places where people are talking about you. So in this presentation, you're going to learn how to take those testimonials that you receive from your current uh, cl clients, past clients. You know, it's really never too late to ask a client for a testimonial. Um, and then you also may even have raving fans, people that just uh, like working with you. Maybe they haven't become a client just yet, but uh, you have been there to help them answer lots of questions. There's a ton of those people out there as well. So it doesn't actually have to be somebody that we have actively worked with, that we're actively working with. These are people that just uh, that like us and um, believe in, in what we're doing and, and what we say. They come to us a lot of times just for advice. So unless you know someone personally, they're not going to just trust you right off the bat, especially on, online. Um, and it's really nothing personal. They just trust um, their peers as a first avenue for buying. Uh, when, or they need advice on buying. They trust people like themselves, if you will, which means when others use you, uh, they'll use you. 70% of consumers in, in today's um, digital ecosphere look online. They look at online reviews before they even decide to buy a product, before they even decide to use a service. And this really puts a lot of emphasis on the importance of harnessing your testimonials um, and taking those, um, taking the effort to have the client speak for you as opposed to speaking um, on, uh, or you speaking on behalf of yourself. It's a really this is this is a true way of getting the the client's point of view and perspective in their own words naturally. So how do we get clients uh, testimonials? Well, one of the best times to ask a client for a testimonial is at the closing table. A lot can happen between um, pre-offer, offer. offer uh, the the date of the contracts and then closing a lot can happen between them and you don't necessarily want to get the testimonial uh, uh, published and produced until after you're at the closing table typically when those clients are at the closing table when they're leaving with their check as the sellers or they're leaving with the keys as the buyers they are in a really 
happy place. It's a, it's a really good place to be and a great time just to get a quick testimonial from them. This would be an opportune time to get a video testimonial from them. Then we can send a follow-up email in a few days after the closing. And when we say links to other sites, maybe you have um, another website that uh, accepts, accepts, accepts testimonials, such as uh, some of the syndication company sites. You could send them links directly to the testimonials page where they need to complete the information. Make it as easy for them as possible. Provide explicit directions and links to get them right to what they need to get to and then they can put in the testimonial. And you want to ask everyone, like I said, it's not just the individuals that you have currently sold to or that you are currently in an agreement with. It could be somebody who you know who you've been helpful in answering questions. It could be a neighbor, uh, so on and so forth. And then um, those that come to you because of a review, they're often inclined to also give reviews. People that, um, that, uh, that read a lot of reviews also tend to write reviews. So those are definitely the people that you want um, writing uh, your reviews and coming to you because of your reviews. All right, we're looking for any, um, any questions. All right, let's look at creating a testimonials page. So hopefully you know how to get to the KW websites. This is a KW technology page. It's uh, on my KW. You hover over uh, technology, then you click, can click on KW websites, and that will take you to your KW website uh, administration tool. You see the go to my website option. When you click on that, it will take you to your KW website administration tool. And that's where we are on now. Um, from here, you click on View Details. View Details is where you're going to set up your testimonials page. We have to first set up the testimonials page before we um, can start adding testimonials. It's available out there. We just need to pretty much launch it. And we're going to do that under the View Details section of the KW website. All right, now we're at adding the testimonials. This is where we're going to go ahead and create the page and then add the testimonials. So as I mentioned, we're going to add the testimonials to the KW website. We're first creating the page. So we're going to start on the website administration homepage and click on pages. Let me show you all where that is. We're going to click on pages right here. Okay, once we click on pages, we're given to our options of pages. Now, in order to create a testimonial page, uh, we don't have a testimonials page set up in here yet. We're going to click on this. We're going to click expand pages. When you click on this button, it's going to give you the option to create a brand new page. All right, now I'm going to pause the screen here. We're going to go in the Let's go into the live environment. Let's see if we can get a better screenshot of that. And you all should just see the, um, the screen that says testimonials and index templates for now. Okay, we're bringing up this page here. Now you should see a little bit better. We're going to click on View Details. We're going to click on Pages, and here is where we can add a page. So right here we have a drop-down menu. This is what I wanted to bring up, and it just didn't look as good on the um, on the page here. This little drop down menu allows us to create a specific type of page. The default page template, uh, the one that shows up here, is just that. It is a default page. It will just show the page title, the page content, which is showing here has your simple WYSIWYG editor, your content editor, and then your SEO options. What we're going to do is hit the drop down menu and we're going to choose testimonials index. 
when we click on testimonials index, now we can uh, create the page title and then create, um, and we also want to let it, let it know whether or not we want to add this page to a menu. All right, so let's go back to the slideshow and show you that. All right, so we're going to call this particular page what people say about Annie. And you'll notice when you are adding the page title, it also comes up here as a slug. In other words, this is the URL for this specific page. If we choose add this page to my menu, it's going to show it on the very top navigation bar. That's what that's for. Uh, if we want, we can also put it in a, uh, in a, in a uh, parent menu, uh, or we can leave it on the top navigation bar. The uh, testimonials may be something you want sitting on the top navigation bar um, so that it's easily accessible, but if you have too many links up on the, on the top navigation, it be, it can become a little bit cluttered. So another place you may want to park it would be underneath um, uh, what uh, underneath contact me and I'll show you where you can play around with the menu items. So we're going to create the page title, what people say about Annie, and uh, once we click, uh, once we click uh, next, it's going to say it was added to our menu. Now we can edit uh, the particular page. So we first created the page. So once we click Save, and since we saved this page with Add to My Menu, we're going to see this message that comes up, and it's going to say, "Hey, do you want to change the order of the of the menu items? In other words, do you, where do you want it to live?" And that's where we can start to change around uh, the order. So now your new page will show up in the menu item, what people say about Annie, which is right here. So that's the new page. Nothing is in it just yet, but that is the new page. Okay, so now we've created the testimonials page, and it's on our website as navigation menu item. Now we can add uh, the individual testimonials right there on the pages menu, okay? In other words, we have now the testimonials page. It's available to us right here in this testimonials menu right here. It'll show up right there. We go into that menu. And now we can start to add our testimonials by clicking on the plus sign and then continuing to continuing to create those. So the very first part is creating the uh, menu item. Uh, the rest is adding the testimonials. Okay, so we have a couple of options here. And you'll see here where we have the um, testimonial itself. Uh, we have the title. This is the name of the, of the individuals. We have a picture of them holding their keys, which is a lot of fun. And then um, a little bit of a testimonial about what, um, what they said, why they loved the Annie Agent team. You can also click on this button right here and quickly add a video. So if you were to put the video on your YouTube channel, then capture the uh, video iframe, the code, the uh, WYSIWYG code for the, for the video, then you can um, easily add that to, uh, add that to this uh, testimonial and now you have a video testimonial including some text on it as well. So you can, you can do more, um, any, any of that can be done. Also the WYSIWYG editor allows you to um, add, um, include uh, HTML code, as I mentioned, bold it, italicize it, add bullets, really make that testimonial come to life. That's really your goal. All right, someone asked, how did I get to this part again? So remember, when we first create, first create the testimonial uh, menu page by first creating a page called the testimonials index, there won't be anything in here until we do that. Once we create that page, 
then it becomes available up here under testimonials. Then we go into testimonials and then we can start to add our testimonial content. So we're creating the main menu item, the parent for testimonials in the first part by creating the page. Then underneath that parent menu, we can add all of our testimonials. So uh, Dana asks, am I putting the testimonial on the site myself or do they click, uh, do they put it there? So Dana, you are going to, um, you're going to put it there yourself. You're going to get their picture, you're going to get their video, and you're going to get their testimonial. When it comes to adding it to sites, one of the things that you can do is if you, let's say you're a member of a syndication site, many of those syndication sites, uh, maybe even Yelp or, or any of those, has a place where clients can put in past or put in uh, testimonials. You want to make it really easy for them to put in those testimonials so that you can get to that. You can also capture that information, take screenshots of it, and bring it into um, your KW websites. Use those as the graphics as well. A lot of good opportunities for you to use. Uh, can we add the testimonials from Google Plus? Absolutely, Scott. Now, what you probably will end up doing is um, you will go ahead and um, copy and paste a lot of that a lot of that information, and then you can put it in here that it's also on Google Plus. All right. Any other questions? And make sure that I did answer those questions that came in from Scott and Dana as well. Let me know if you have additional questions. So this is what it's going to look like, okay? So here's the, here's the title of what people say about Annie. This was the original page that we created because we wanted it to have a title on it and then the, the, some additional information. And then below it are the any testimonials that we add to the testimonials page and they will just show up um, as options here. Now we have on the KW websites, we have a few different um, options for testimonials. Uh, and I'm sorry, I wasn't showing the screen. There we go. This screen right here is showing the um, what people say about Annie right here. And this is the title of the page, what we titled. This is now where any testimonials that we add will live. And you'll notice it puts in the the, the pictures of the individuals who are giving the testimonials. Thank you, Jody, for the heads up on the screen change. Now I also have, I'm going to go to another screen, so please tell me if it's not, when it's not changing in a moment, some quick examples of testimonials that we showed early on. And so this is an example of, of a of a testimonial on the Madison design. So it comes up like this under testimonials or whatever you call that link. Then this is another one. I'm trying to remember the name of this specific um, uh, uh, template, but I can't remember. But um, most important is that the testimonials will scroll at the bottom of this page. At the very bottom, it scrolls through. However, no pictures show up. And then this is an additional. A, a screenshot of another template where the testimonials are in a big long um, a list. Again, the pictures of the clients aren't showing on this one, but it is in a nice uh, page where it has your contact information, your picture, and so forth. So you do have a lot of options when it comes to the types of templates you use, and those templates can really help determine what. Um, what, the, what uh, the best one for you to use because of the types of, of uh, testimonials you have. All right, we are at the end of our content. So um, we reviewed how to, uh, uh, how to, uh, why we needed testimonials, um, when we can get testimonials, creating a testimonials page, and then, of course, adding the testimonials to your KW website. Now, promoting these testimonials pages in your marketing and in your social media efforts, you want to brag about them, you want to share links about them and so forth, it's going to bring attention to the value that you bring to your clients and to your sphere. 
Now next month we're going to move on from discussing your brand and moving on to your strategy. So it's going to be more about uh, the strategy of your um, online lead generating efforts. Uh, Jody is asking a great question. Let's look at that question, Jody. Uh, Jody is saying, um, any ideas on how to convert written, written testimonials to a video if you can no longer access the client who wrote it? So Jody, here's a thought. Um, maybe do something like a narration of the, um, of the testimonials. Maybe have something playing in the background. Uh, maybe, uh, you know, KW Video could really help in this regard by running one of those videos behind it and using your own narration or other, uh, using it, uh, having someone else do the narration for the testimonials. That's just a, a quick thought on that uh, particular question. And Scott, you are so very welcome for our time. We hope that you all get a lot out of these uh, presentations. If you are taking something in particular out of this presentation, please let us know when you are done with today's content. You should receive a, a survey right away, or we will also love to get um, uh, any comments from you. This webinar will be available online. It will be available on KWU Connect, so you guys can listen to it again. And uh, all the including uh, your agent website, uh, um, adding testimonies to your agent website, uh, adding photos, adding video, all of those uh, training lessons are also available. I'm going to go ahead and stop the recording, so thank those of you that are watching the recording.